Welcome back trainers, are you ready for some heart racing Pokemon action? Because today, we have some exciting battles lined up that you're sure to enjoy. Get ready to witness not one, but two brilliant battles both starring our new incredible Trick Room team. So sit back, relax and prepare to be amazed as we dive into these chillingly good showdowns featuring our favourite ice crab, Crabominable. Trainers, if you enjoy the adrenaline fuel battles and want more heart pounding action, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe to join us on our journey to 20k subscribers. Your support means the world to me, so let's keep the excitement going. Anyway, with all that being said, let's jump straight into the first battle. And the first battle is here. We're going against Rod, also known as Rin, from the Discord server in the OU tier. And they've got a pretty cool looking team. Grimmsnarl, Torkoal, Ogapon, Cornerstone, Weavile, Primarina, and of course the Latios. So we're actually doing really well against this team if we get the Trick Room up, because they've got a lot of fast threats. Um, all we've got to watch out for really is the Primarina. And um, that Sun from Torkoal is going to help us as well. Um, with our camera up's eruption power. So I think what I do here is they probably lead with Weavile, expecting us to lead with something like the Slow King. So I'm gonna lead off with Low Kicks, and if they lead off with the Weavile, or the Ogapon, or the Latios, or the Grimmsnarl, we just fire our first impression at those things and just get them done and dusted. And the battle begins, good luck, have fun, Rod. So they're gonna lead off with Grimmsnarl, which is a good lead, as we lead off with Cricketeer, the Low Kicks. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. So let's go straight for a first impression, just to get some damage off on this thing. We'll out prioritize them as well. And that's just some nice damage, to be fair. As they go for a spirit break, they go on the offensive, which takes out low kick. Oh dear, so we're off to a very bad start. But but things like this have happened before. I didn't necessarily need low kicks to win the game. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So what I'm instead of what I'm gonna do is if Grimmsnarl is in, then we definitely go into pre-marina, because they do not have much of a switch into pre-marina. That's for sure. Other than their own pre-marina. So we should be alright with Blue Note here. Let's go for a Moonblast because it'll definitely do some super effective damage. As they go for a Spirit Break, they're an offensive Grimmsnarl. I was expecting screen supports or something. But that's going to lower our special attack, unfortunately, which means it's Moonblast. It should still KO as it does. So Grimmsnarl goes down. So we've already redeemed ourselves from the Low Kicks Nightmare. I should have gone for a U-turn, really. I just and I always expect them to go for screens first off. So I was like, yeah, if you hit them with the first impression, it's going to be good. Anyway, in comes Shiny Prince, which is the Primarina. Nice and shiny. We definitely go for a flip turn here. I could Terror Electric Terror Blast, but I don't think it'll KO, so there's no point doing it. So I'm going to go for a flip turn. As uh, they go for an Energy Ball, we should eat this because we're Assault Vest. There we go. Eating it up. Go for a flip turn real quick and get on out of there. And go into something a bit more suitable to take on a Primarina. So, 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 so. What have we got that's more suitable to take on a Primarina? That is the real question. So... Uh, a couple of things we got. We don't have much to hit it with, do we? Not good. Uh, Brave Bird from you will hurt. That's for sure. Slush Bomb from you may hurt. Let's go in Slow King. We're going Slow King because they more than likely switch out anyway because they don't want to get hit by a Sludge Bomb. And there is a good chance they're Specs when they might be locked into Energy Ball. If they were Specs, I think they would have taken out my Pre Marina. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's go for a Trick Room. They go for a Hyper Voice. It's going to do not much damage to us as we go for a Trick Room now. Which is great. So with the Trick Room up, we're going to twist the dimensions. I can't remember how many turns they let this last. It's about three or four, isn't it? I think. I could be wrong. Let's find out. Let's find out. So let's go for a, a quick check. Oh, five turns. Perfect. So now, let's just start spamming Sludge Bombs at this thing. There's no real reason not to. There we go, that's a clean 2 at KO, which is great. So they go for another Hyper Voice. It's a clean 2 at KO. We should be golden here. Should. Big should be golden. Let's go for the Sludge Bomb once again. It should take out the Pre Marina, right? It does. So Pre Marina's gone. So the one Pokemon that we didn't really have much for is now out of the way, out of commission. So what can we do now? That's the real question. I'm leaning towards... All right, in comes Victor, which is going to be what? The Weavile? No, the Latios. Interesting. So we still got a couple more turns of the Trick Room. So what I'm going to do is I am going to Chilly Reception here. So we're going to tell the Chilly Bad Joke. Obviously, we go first because of the Trick Room. Some people think Chilly Reception has a negative priority, but it actually doesn't. It's just based on your speed. So we're going to go ahead and switch out with our Chilly Reception. 
And what we can go into is um, none other than... I'd say we sack Primarina. That's what I'd say. Because they're going to go for a Draco, right? So it might not even be a sack. So let's go into a Primarina real quick. Like so. They go for the Draco, which is perfect. So that's not going to affect our Primarina. So that's great. Now, because the Trick Room's still up, we can go for a Moonblast and outspeed this thing. They do withdraw, though. What are they going to go into? Ogapon? Tortima. Is that the Ogapon? Or is that the... Yeah, Tokol. Alright, that makes sense. So the Drought is going to come through. Which means this Moonblast ain't going to do anything. Oh, it did more damage than I thought it would, to be fair. Twisted Dimensions do return to normal, which is unfortunate. But we're going to go for a Surf now. And Surf should do a lot of damage to this Tokol, even in the sun. As it takes it out in one clean hit. Brilliant. Pre-Marina coming through for us right there. But they don't really have a switch into Pre-Marina, to be fair. Victor's coming back in. The Latios. This thing's probably choice, by the way, they've done this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip turn because Pre-Marina doesn't do much for us. They go for a Luster Purge, which is fair enough. It's going to do some decent damage. As Blue Note is going to go down right now. So what I'm thinking is I'm leaning towards the Slow King. Sloking, I think a Crabominable can do this. So I'm going to go Sloking. I'm going to get another Trick Room up. I'm going to get another Trick Room up, which would be great. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. And uh, let's go for a Trick Room real quick. I don't see any reason not to. Luster Purge isn't going to do too much damage to us. So they go for a Flip Turn, which is interesting. Hopefully we see a Weavile Switch. Now the reason I'm saying hopefully we see a Weavile Switch is quite simply because we are going to go for Chili Reception before the Weavile attacks. Right? Missouri comes in. The Weave are great. Because of that, our best Pokemon switch into its Crabominable. Because it can take a, a knockoff, no problem. It can take an ice type attack, no problem. It can even take a fighting type attack because of the defense boost it'll get from the snow. Snow's not up yet, but you know, it will be up in a second. So um, now that that's all out of the way, let's go for a chilly reception. Like so. Tell a chillingly bad joke. Like so. And I'm so glad Pursuit's not in the game anymore. Well, that pursuit would shut this strategy right down. So there we go. We got um, a good switch into Crab Out all now. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Like so. They may knock off our heavy duty boots, but it's not a big deal at the end of the day. As Crab Out all is here. They go for a brick break. Ooh. It's good that we have that defense boost from the snow. They are life orb as well, which is good to know. So. We can now go for a close combat no problem. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. They go for an Ice Charge to get some last ditch death effort damage off. Fair enough. We go for the close combat. Can cleanly take out this Weavile. Like so. And the only thing we've got to stop us now is Ogapon. Because it has that pesky Sturdy. That's the main issue we're going to have here. Sturdy. As there it is. The Ogapon is here. The Yoga Pond is here. Now, obviously, I don't want to stay in here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Corviknight. There we go. Withdrawing Coronable and going into Corviknight is probably our best bet because we can take any hit from this Yoga Pond we want to. And then we can go for a U-turn. So in comes our Corviknight. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. They go for an Ivy Cudgel. Does over half of a critical hit, which is really unfortunate. Let's go for a U-turn anyway and get out of there. So we go for a U-turn, and thanks to... Ah, oh, are they going to go for an Ivy Cudgel again? Thanks to the Trick Room, we go first. So if they're going to go for an Ivy Cudgel... We should go in Crabominable. Crabominable has the best chance of living in an Ivy Cudgel with the defense boost from the snow. There's the Ivy Cudgel. Can we live? We do! But the Twisted Dimensions do return to normal. We do not need Crabominable... Crab we don't need... You know, I can't even speak today. We do not need Crabominable to win this game. That is for sure. What we need to win this game... Hmm. Would it actually be better to do that? I don't think Camera Up's the way to win. Definitely not, because it can't touch that Latios. So it might be better... We might be better to do it this way. I think Camera Up comes in now. We sack Camera Up off. We go into Slow King, get a Trick Room up. Chili Reception into the Corviknight to, to KO it on the Ivy Cudgel. Yeah, there we go. So we'll let this go down to the Ivy Cudgel. As it actually lived, but it doesn't really matter. 
Because we got outspeed and KO'd anyway. We go for a Fire Blast just in case, though. You never know. There's the Ivy Cudgel once again. So now, I'm confident Slowking can take an Ivy Cudgel unless they get a crit. Right? That's what I'm pretty confident in. So now we go into the Slowking. Good old Drip Queen. Like so. We get a Trick Room up. Like so. They go for an Ivy Cudgel. It's going to sting, that's for sure. But it does not KO us as we get that Trick Room up. Nicely done by Slowking. Slowking is a very good Trick Room setter, in my opinion. But um, what we're going to do now is we can Chili Reception into the Corviknight, sack it off to the Ivy Cudgel. There's no reason not to. I could stay in and. No, Sludge Bomb is uh, neutral because of the rock typing. So let's go for a Chili Reception first. Tell a Chinley bad joke. Get on out of there. Like so. Lo I love the animation for that. It's such a cool animation for Chili Reception. And then we're going to sack off Corviknight. So that we can get good old uh, Crab Abominable. Crab. Crab. Crab Abominable in. So let's go into Silvera. The I can't even say Crab Abominable. I can't say it. It's like Aloma Lola. <laughs> they go for a U-turn now. That's unfortunate because I was sacking Corviknight off. That is unfortunate. I wish they would have gone for an Ivy Cudgel there. That's kind of ruined my plan. Victor comes in. So how many more turns of Trick Room have we got? Four. Wait, wait, wait. Three. So now we go for a Brave Bird. We go for the Brave Bird to get the recoil. Because we want Corviknight to go down here. They go for a flip turn. This has ruined my plan. This has ruined my plan. This has ruined my plan big time. This has really ruined my plan. Ogapon comes through. Hmm. We go for a Brave Bird. And we let Corviknight go down here. There we go. Corviknight should go down to the recoil now. I think. No, we lived. So it's not Crabominable that's winning this game for us. It's Corviknight. That's unfortunate. Our, our, my whole game plan's gone out of the window. But we still win. Because we've got the Trick Room up. So I'm going for a Brave Bird here. And that takes out the Latios. So I was hoping Crabominable could... I had it all planned out in my head. But, I mean, it still worked out. But... <laughs> GG Rod, that was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. It was a bit of a, he a head spinner, but you know, it, it, it worked out in the end. It worked out in the end. All right, the second battle is here. We're going against Tyler, also known as Lazy Boy, from the Discord server in the OU tier. So, looking at their team, they got Politoed, Luminion, which is really cool, Landrosphere, Low Kicks, Jolteon, and Quackwaval. 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 I can never really remember how to pronounce that one because I don't see it very often. So, Looking at their team, I'd say they probably lead off with Bollytoad or Landorus. So I'm inclined to lead with Low Kicks. Uh, low Kicks could do good. Um, let's just see though. Uh, would Pre Marina be a good lead as well? I think Low Kicks is the best lead. So I'm going to lead off with Low Kicks like I did in the last game. But I'm going to be a bit more cautious with it because I lost it straight away in the last game, didn't I? <laughs> and the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Lazy Boy. So they're going to lead off with Bugginator. The Low Kicks as I lead off with my own Low Kicks. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. So, I guess we do this. <laughs> Let's see whose low kicks goes down first, I guess. Let's go for that first impression. Let's see who wins the speed tie. Screw it. We won the speed tie. Yes. As down goes the low kicks. Okay, so they probably went for a first impression too, right? So, <laughs> it was completely down speed tie. I don't know whether low kicks went down then. Awesome. That was a good start to the game, I think. In comes Drippy. So, they probably realized we're probably choice banded. Um, so they've brought the Politoed in, which looks really cool. I like Politoed. It's quite big, isn't it, Politoed? So what I'm going to do here is, um, I think Pre-Marina's uh, uh, Terror Electric ability is going to come in useful. against Because they've got three water types. Um, we just need to clear that Landorus away, that's all. Earthquake could be um, problematic. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to bring in Galarian Slow King. Because they more than likely go for either an Encore or a Scold. I don't know if we get Skull, actually. It might be a Surf that we see, really. But um, we'll bring Slow King in real quick, like so. Nice and shiny. And they go for a Weather Ball, which is going to sting a little bit, sure. We can definitely take it. Yeah, a little, little bit of a sting. So that's clearly not an offensive Politoed. Otherwise, I would have done a bit more. 
So now, what I can freely do is go for a Trick Room. And that's exactly the position I want to be in because they have Swift Swim users in Luminion and they have a fast Pokemon in Jolteon. Landris is also quite fast and Quackable gets faster as it attacks. So we definitely want Trick Room for this one. So Moustache is going to come in. Zelandarus gets the Intimidate off, which is unfortunate, but we get the Trick Room up, which is amazing. So with that in mind, what is the best Pokemon to go into here? Because they more than likely go for either an EQ or a U-turn. So I'm leaning towards Crabominable because we can go ahead and get that in against... It goes well against their entire team, to be honest with you. So we'll tell a chillingly bad joke in Chili Reception. We'll go straight into Crabominable. And Crabominable from there can just start attacking this team relentlessly, pretty much. So let's see how this plays out. I want Crabominable to do good here. So there's the Crabominable coming in. Like, so brawl out it is. Because they probably go for an earthquake. I don't want my camera up to take that. We may have... Oh, they go for a swords dance. Oh. So we have to be careful here because they could terror. However, I'm confident we can still take an earthquake from this thing. So I'm going to go for an ice hammer. They do withdraw. They don't terror. Good to know. Good to know. What are they going to go into? Drippy? That's the Politoed, right? Yeah, the Politoed is here. Drizzle comes through. We go for an Ice Hammer. But I have not seen that animation yet, and that looks amazing. Low is our speed, making us even faster in the Trick Room. And then we go for a Close Combat to take this thing out. They may go... Oh, I thought they go into Landris, but I guess it's risky. I guess it's risky. So we go for a Close Combat, take out that Politoed. Now the Weather Wars are over. Once we get the snow back up, the snow is back up for good. So Politoed's looking pretty worn out. <laughs> McQuax comes in the Quackable. So... This is an interesting one. Um, they probably go for a close combat, but are they going to terror first? Kind of don't want to find out. So I think what I'm going to do is... No, they're probably thinking they can live a close combat, which they might do. I personally think we go for a close combat here still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right play, right play. As that nearly takes out the Quackable, which is incredible. Incredible. As they go for a flip turn, which is going to sting. Nearly KOs us. But not quite enough to do the job. As now, we've still got a Trick Room turn left, I think. So Fiona comes in. Which is going to be the Luminion. Twisted Dimensions return to normal here. We definitely withdraw here. And we go into Sloking once again. This Trick Room team has been doing really well, I must say. So there we go. Withdrawing Crabominable. And we're going to go into Drip Queen, the Slow King. Like so. Nice and shiny. They go for a Hydro Pump. It's going to sting a little bit in the rain. But we should be able... Ooh. Ooh. That's a tough one, that. I say we go for the Trick Room Chili Reception. I say we still risk it. Because I don't think it'll KO us. I think we'll live on a sliver of HP. Now, we, we lose... We lose Slow King there to, the, to a Luminion of all things. So we know that thing specs at least. Which means we're going to have to rely on good old Pre-Marina here. So Pre-Marina you can come in. We're Assault Vested. I should have just switched Slow King out. I shouldn't have risked that. Shouldn't have risked that. But it's, it is what it is at the end of the day. So I would Terra Electric here. But I don't want them to go straight into Landorus. I don't think they would go into Landorus though in the face of a Pre-Marina. I think they're more than likely. I don't know. They might sack off Quackable. Yeah, they sack off Quackable. That's fair enough. So, Quackable comes in. We go for a Moonblast. Take it out. So, Pre-Marina may have to clean up right now. Because unfortunately, we lost uh, Slow King, which means our new pairing of um, Camerupt and Abominable are pretty much useless. They're not useless. I mean, look. Jolteon comes in. We just switch into Camerupt. Blocks them completely. And if the rain wears off, we get a free eruption. You know? And, but if the rain doesn't wear off, we can just go for an Earth Power. So we'll bring Camera up in. They go for a Thunder. Not going to work on the good old Camel over here. And now I'm waiting for that rain to wear off. That's, that's the main thing I'm worried about. So I think personally, the choice specs, I think we, I think Terrible, I think Grass Camera up is actually going to pull through for us. That's what I think. I think Grass Camera pulls through. 
because it resists the um, the earthquake from the Landorus. We've got solid rock to protect us from the super effective U-turn from Landorus. Since it's not stabbed, it means it won't do much damage at all. Luminion can't touch us. They go for a Weather Ball. I forgot Jolteon even had Weather Ball. But they are Life Orb, which means they're going to lose some HP, which means this Terror Blast has a good chance of KOing. Let's see how much damage it does. Nearly gets the KO. Good job. The rain does stop as well, which is great. So let's go for a Terror Blast real quick. They go for a Thunder. It's going to sting a little bit, but it won't KO us, I'm afraid. Um, as the Life Orb is going to take its toll, and then the Terror Blast is going to finish off the Jolteon. However, they have weakened us enough to where Luminion or Landorus can come in and finish off the, finish off the job, really. So um, that's unfortunate, but, you know, Camera Ups, you did good this game. You did real good this game. With the Jolteon going down, we're, we're not too bad. So in comes Fiona, the Luminion. Once again, I'm going to go for that Terror Blast. There is a chance. We, I'm pretty sure the choice specs. So there is a chance that they go for a flip turn here. Expecting us to switch out. But we're not going to do that. They go for an Ice Beam. That's going to sting. Definitely KOs the camera up from there. As down our Vesuvius goes. But at least we got to use it. Granted, we didn't get to use it in Trick Room. And we didn't get to pull off anything too spicy with it. But, you know, Terra Blast Grass did pretty well. I think Crabominable is the MVP, personally. So I'm going to go into our um, Cricket real quick. Good old Cricketier. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. And then... I'm expecting them to go Landorus here, so I'm going to go for a U-turn. So they're going to withdraw the Luminion as expected. And what are they going to go into other than Landorus? They can't go in. They can't. <laughs> they've got no other Pokemon left. Why did I say what they're going to go into? It's obviously Landorus. So they get the Intimidate off. We get a nice clean U-turn boosted by Tinted Lens off, which does a lot of damage still, even after an Intimidate. And then we get out of there. So I think Low Kicks is going to win us the game. But I don't know how it's going to do it. So I think I go Crabominable here. Because they obviously have to go for a U-turn. This gives us a switch initiative on whatever they bring in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go for a Ice Hammer just in case. So they go for a Rock Slide, which can miss, by the way. And it does miss as we go for an Ice Hammer and take out this Landorus. They could have finished us off with an Earthquake if they really wanted to. Crabominable coming through, though. Like, swiftly dodging that Rock Slide. What a legend. But now we have to face off against Luminion who can probably lock itself into Hydro Pump very comfortably, but we do have the Pre-Marina, so not very comfortably. Let's go for a close combat real quick. There we go, Hydro Pump comes through. Boom. Down goes Crabominable, which is fine. Hydro Pump could have missed there. Good to note. Um, I think we go Low Kicks here in first impression. I'm pretty sure it'll KO. If it doesn't, I'll be very surprised. I will be very surprised if this doesn't KO. So let's go for a first impression real quick and let's um, hope they miss the Hydro Pump. I'm kidding. I never never hope for like hacks against my opponents. That's that's um, that's wrong. <laughs> so they're going to Terra into a Terra Fairy, which is unfortunately going to activate our Tinted Lens because I believe Fairy resists Bug, right? So this first impression could still KO as it nearly goes the job. They go for a Hydro Pump and miss. But it's fine. We're locked into first impression. We have to switch out here. So I'm going to go straight into pre-marina. I can't keep low kicks in because I'm locked into first impression, which only works on the first turn of us getting on the field. So now I'm going to have to switch into pre-marina. Go for a hydro pump again. That's going to miss. I am assault vest though, so that miss does not matter at all. It wasn't doing anything to us as we now go for a moon blast. And they run out of moves to use, so they have to go for a struggle, which is going to do them in on the recoil. Oh, wow. What an interesting game that was. That was a fun one. I did enjoy that one, though. That was a, a fun game. A fun game. Like, what? What? <laughs> what a bizarre game that was. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.